Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and start sitting. And if you've brought any of your props, feel free to use them throughout the class, um, however you feel uh, free to do so. So just sitting comfortably and bending your hands, grounding you down onto your knees and your thighs. Really roll your shoulders back. So you already start to feel this expansiveness start to come through in front of your heart. And without putting too much effort into deepening your breath, just become aware of the gentle touch of breath on the inner space. And again, without too much effort and willing of your breath to do so, just can you create this energetic sense of openness and an energetic welcoming of this breath all the way to surround through your heart space. And so it's almost like a smoke that's dancing off the tip of a flame, right? And it just kind of slowly rises up and it's very gentle. You feel that same sensation or even just imagine that the breath being like the flame and then the very tip of it, it just gently rises, dances up through your heart space, even into your throat a little bit and into that space behind your eyes. Soften your jaw, right where your jaw meets your ear. And now begin to apply a little more will really expanding your belly a lot as you breathe in. Then you have more that you can welcome up through your ribs, your heart, your throat, lift through your crown. And then full, slow exhale. And really allow yourself to travel back down beyond your belly, deep down into the root of your seat. And then just continuing at a rhythm, at a pace that is right for your body this morning. Allowing the openness as you receive breath in. Allowing that expansion to rise even in the space behind your neck. And then as you exhale again, you're traveling, descending all the way back down into the deepest depths of root. And then as you find yourself in that deep root, can you even press a little more breath out than you think you can? So you feel actual like a, a physical hug, a physical, physical squeeze almost of your navel drawing back towards your spine and that space between navel and pubic bone is just gently hugging towards your sacrum. But keep your throat soft, your jaw soft as you find that. And then whenever you, you feel that sense of readiness, you inhale, soften your belly, you welcome the next breath in, and there's that welcoming sensation of your body to open. It's an invitation 
and also your active participation in that. And as you're finding that kind of hug, that squeeze at the very bottom of your exhale, keep going deeper and deeper and deeper. And you might find that the more you hug in, the more capacity you have to soften and take more breath in for that next inhale. So the more you descend, the more capacity you then will have to ascend, to expand to rise. And this is just like life. Most of the time, if not all of the time, just before there is a moment of expansion, of growth, of ascension, there is this moment of contraction. And it's, it's not a bad thing, it's not a wrong thing. And in fact, if we learn how to really lean into it, contract with it, in a way where we are traveling into that deep root power source that is available to us in any moment of contraction. And we carry those lessons with us into the expansion that follows. So we're going to be working with that a little bit through today's practice of this healthy contraction followed by expansion. And just feeling that relationship and that dance between the two. In hopes that once we leave this room, once we leave our mat, we can actually practice that more harmoniously in our lives. So after this next round of breath, you can kind of let go of doing that squeeze on your exhale and just come back to breathing smoothly, long, full, deep breaths in and out of your nose. And then bringing your hands together in front of your heart. And take a full breath, letting that breath touch your chest bone, your thumbs. And exhale here, bow your head. And then releasing your palms down, go ahead and uncross your shins, find your way down onto your back. Okay. And draw your knees into your chest. Receiving the weight of your thighs into your belly. Breathe your belly expansive in towards your thighs. Reaching your arms out to a T. Drop both of your knees over to the left side. Relax your right shoulder blade down a lot. And then breathe into the space between your navel and your spine. Breathe into your back ribs. Invite that breath to the back of your heart, the back of your neck. And then lifting your knees to center. And just very gently sending your knees to the right. Spacious belly breath. Gently encouraging your breath up through the sides of your spine. Beautiful, lifting your knees back to center. 
Wrap your arms around your shins and curl your head, neck, and shoulders up off the ground. Hugging everything in, in, in. Start to squeeze your eyes, squeeze your nose, your lips. Scrunch your toes, squeeze your calves, your thighs. Breathe into your belly, and then as you exhale, find that deep press, press, press <laughs> your back out. And then exhale, soften, release your arms, extend your legs out in front of you, reach your arms overhead, and then interlace your fingers, turn your palms behind you, and now stretch through the front of your belly, the front of your thighs, the tops of your feet, breathe through your front ribs, your breastbone, back through your arms, another breath here. And then exhale, release, arms come down by your sides. Bend your right knee, foot to the mat. Bend your left knee, foot to the mat. Good, root into your feet. Lift your hips just an inch or two and softly set them back down. Just kind of resetting your pelvis. Good, and now root your feet four corners down. So big toe mound, pinky toe mound, inner heel, outer heel. And feel your low back actually root down onto the mat. And then slowly start to roll your hips up. Walk your shoulder blades together in towards your spine underneath you. You might interlace your fingers underneath your sacrum if you feel extra open in your shoulders this morning. Otherwise, flat palms on the mat. It's just beautiful. But spread your toes to so really feel this grounded root and feel that you can actually breathe into your feet. And just get like a little like sucking up motion from the bottoms of your feet. Like you can suck up from the mat, from the ground, breathe that up through your knees, to your thighs, to your belly. That opening, that welcoming of breath around your heart, back of neck. And then walk shoulder blades apart, slowly paint top of spine down, then mid spine, then low spine. Totally release. Good, root into your feet, slowly roll hips up once again. Walk shoulder blades together. If you're interlacing, interlace the awkward way of your fingers. On your next exhale, find that deep squeeze and hug from your low belly to press that last drop of breath out and then ah, soften belly, welcome the next breath in. And then walk shoulder blades apart, painting spine back down on the mat. And just take a nice smooth breath through your whole spine here. Now draw your right knee in, hand on your knee, and then your left knee in, both hands on your hips. Good. Inhale, curl, head, neck, and shoulders up off the ground. Keep your right knee into your chest, extend your left leg all the way out long in front of you, covering your heel and pushing long through your big toe mount. So your left heel is off of the ground. Good. Relax your shoulders. So it's not the gripping, forcing, efforting, but it's this breathing of belly and thigh hugging together. Push even more through your extended leg. Reach, reach, hug in, in, and then just switch your legs. Your left knee comes in, your right leg extends out. Good. Soften your cheeks, your lips. Exhale, switch your legs. Exhale, switch your legs. Exhale, switch. Bring your arms down by your sides, by the sides of your hips. Exhale, switch. And you can always support your head by bringing your fingers around behind you. Just make sure to keep your elbows nice and wide. And keep moving with your breath. Every time you hug your knee and hug it in more than you think is available to you. Of course, you can always set your chest down as well and just do your legs. Good, 
reach further out through your extended leg, more than you think you can. Good. And then pulling your right knee all the way in, pause. Good, extend your right leg straight up towards the sky, any amount. It doesn't have to come all the way straight. Good, re-bend that knee and switch your legs. Extend your left leg towards the sky. Re-bend, switch. Extend your right leg. Keep your legs straight, switch your legs. Switch your legs, exhale. Feeling the heat starting to build, right? So we're in this point of power, of um, strength, of contraction happening. It's a healthy contraction that is allowing greater access to our life force power. So instead of resisting it, go into it, soften into it, breathe into it. Okay, five more seconds. Beautiful, bend both knees, hug them in, contract, squeeze, squeeze everything. And then exhale, melt, extend your legs out, arms overhead, just like we did before. Interlace fingers, push through your feet, breathe through your belly, open your mouth, release that out. Do that twice more. Love. Bringing your arms down by your side. Bend your knees, feet onto the mat. Lift hips and lower hips. Just resetting pelvis. Okay, coming back into bridge. Fan your toes, four corners of feet. Roots as you rise. Walk shoulder blades together with your knees. Now as you slurp up, like you can breathe through the pores of your skin on your feet. Up through your thighs, through your belly. Mm, send a lot of expansive breath into your back ribs. So much expanding your collarbones. And then walk shoulder blades apart slowly. Thanks. Your spine. Yeah. Right, coming right back. Inhale. Riding in bridge. Shift your weight into your right leg. Get really grounded and firm through that right foot. And lift your left knee above your left hip. Slowly extending your leg up. Push through your big toe mounds like you could touch the ceiling. Root through your bottom foot. Lengthen up, up. And then just gently setting your foot down onto the mat again. Balance the weight through both feet. And then shift to your left leg. Right knee above right hip. Slowly extend to the sky. Root down to lift up. And then rebound. Set your foot down. Good. Breathe into your thighs as you lift a little bit more. And then walk shoulder blades apart. Paint. Spine. Down. Breathe. Soften your thighs. Let them melt. Beautiful. Really start to roll over to one side. Press yourself up and come on to all fours in the tabletop position. Good. Okay. Spreading your palms nice and wide, breathing your heart forward, cow spine. Really let the front of your belly stretch out, your heart drawn forward. And then exhale deeply round this. And then keep rounding, keep exhaling, keep exhaling. Find the deep, deep, deep depth of your exhale. And then in and only then do you again draw your heart forward. Cow, spread, expand belly. And then exhale, deep contract. Travel in. Soft jaw, soft neck. 
inhale down. Expansive. And then travel even deeper this time on your cats. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cat. Travel deeper. Inhale, cat. This time, exhale, round and push into the tops of your feet. Lift your knees and your shins just three inches off of the ground. Pause here. Soft cheeks, soft lips, drop your head. Take an inhale, exhale, your knees and shins come down. Inhale, cow. Exhale, deeply round. Lift knees and shins three inches, drop your head. Another breath. On your exhale, knees and shins down. Inhale, cow. Last time, exhale, round and lift. Heavy cheeks, heavy lift. Inhale. Exhale, knees and shins down. Inhale, cow. Spread your knees wider than hips, big toes touching behind you, find child pose. Come off of your wrists, crawl your fingertips a little further forward, spacious through your side ribs, outer shoulders, armpits even. Good, inhale, rise up, hands and knees. Keep rocking shoulders forward, forward over fingertips and lower chaturanga. Elbows straight back behind you to your belly. Inhale, low cobra, just to your top ribs. Exhale, ribs down. Twice more. Inhale, press into the tops of your feet. Exhale, ribs down. Low cobra, last time. This time, stay here on your exhale. Inhale, rise to your knees, straighten your arms. Exhale, child's pose, press up. Breathe your hips down onto your heels. One more time, just like that, rise up. Rock shoulders forward, point elbows straight back by your sides. Low cobra three times with your breath. Strong in your legs. On your third low cobra, stay on the exhale. Then pressing up, you might even lift your knees for a full upper dog if your low back is ready. And then find your way back to downward dog. So we have rock hips back, tuck toes. First downward dog, start to pedal out your legs. Bending one knee, straightening the other. Put high to the ball of both feet. Really shine the backs of your thighs up. And just like we did with our feet, kind of like slurping up, breathing up, do the same thing with your palms now. If you could slurp the mat, the ground, the earth, up through your arms, through your waist. And then exhale, relax heels towards the mat. Any other way. Another full breath. Slowly bend your knees, gaze between your thumbs, and walk your feet. Really feeling the step of each foot on the mat as you arrive in a forward fold. Hands come to your shins, just below your knees as you lengthen your sternum forward. Now find even more length through your spine. So you're sending your hips, your tailbone back. You're breathing your back ribs, your sternum forward. You can gaze directly down. One more breath, but even more space, literally between each vertebra of your spine. And then exhale, take that length all the way down into the forward and then cross your elbow or uh, forearms, holding on to opposite elbow with opposite hands. 
You can always be a little bend in your knees. Really drop your head, maybe even shake it yes. Shake it no. Flutter your lips, perhaps. Your whole head crown is very heavy. Switch the cross of your forearms. And then can you get even heavier this time through your arms, your elbows, your forearms dropping? One more breath. Beautiful. Release your arms down. Bend your knees. Drop tailbone towards the earth. Rolling your spine to stand up. Go incredibly slow. 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 Your shoulders arrive over your hips. Roll shoulders back. Sweep arms out and up. Breathe up through feet, thighs, heart. Exhale forward. Inhale, heart lengthening long. Set your right leg back, your left leg back to plank pose. Shift your shoulders forward. Your knees can come down or stay lifted as you lower chaturanga, just halfway down. Press right up to upward facing dog, urdhva mukha. Exhale, find your way back, adho mukha. Five breaths. Finding the highest peak of your inhale and the truest depth of each exhale. A healthy contraction that allows for deeper expansion. Beautiful. Inhale a tight to toes. Bend your knees, gaze forward, step right foot through between your hands, then left foot. Hands to shins, Ardha Uttanasana, lengthen heart forward, and then exhale, Uttanasana, fold. Rise this time with a flat spine, heart forward, arms sweeping out. Maybe you even gaze up and touch palms. And then exhale, take the right back down, forward. Syria A again, heart forward. Set left leg, then right leg to plank. Exhale, lower halfway, maybe knee support. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Roll shoulder heads back. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Then maybe this time you just lift your hips and press your thighs up. Okay, five breaths. Count them. Hear them. Each breath guiding you into a new, deeper space within. On your fifth inhale, lift high to your toes. Bend your knees, gaze forward, left foot, then right foot to the top of your mat. Ardha Uttanasana, heart forward. Exhale, Uttanasana. Rise into stand, draw up from feet, thighs, heart. Exhale, forward fold. Heart lengthening long. Step your right leg straight back and pause. Okay, lift onto your fingertips. Okay, if having fingertips on the ground is still too deep for you, you can always bring your hands onto your knees if you don't have a block. Okay, now hug your inner thighs together. Push through your back heel and breathe your sternum forward. So it's just like when we were kind of in this position on our back. Can you find the expansive reach of your back leg? Draw and forward. One more breath. Plant your palms flat and you step back to plank pose. Take an inhale, get long in both directions. And then exhale, downward dog, Adho Mukha. Rest. Inhale, lifting your right leg straight up towards the sky. Get even longer, fuller up through your palms, your arms, reach back. And then exhale, shoulders over wrists, knee to your chest, round, find that deep depth of your exhale. Gaze between your thumbs and step through, helping it forward if you need to. Beautiful. Coming onto your fingertips, walk to the knee, whatever you took last time. Inner thighs, hug. Return up, side waist even. Pulling forward. 
One more breath here. And then plant your palms, step back to plank, sternum still pulling forward the whole while. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Press back. Full inhale here. Maybe even an open mouth exhale. Left leg rising, sweep straight back and up, back and up, back and up. Exhale, shoulders over, right knee to chest. Deep, deep, deep exhale, soften your jaw. Step through between your hands, lengthen heart forward, hug inner thighs towards one another. Now gently lean into your right hand and twist open to the left side. Good, one more breath here in this twist, in this hug, this squeeze, and then exhale, close your hands down. Now you can either have hand outside of your ankle or forearm on your thigh as you drop your back heel down and turn open to the right part of the muscle. Now we're finding more of the expansion through that left hip, left belly. Yeah, back heel down. Back up, yeah. <laughs> That's a little more stable. <laughs> Good, one more breath here. And then exhale, close your hand down. Christine, you're welcome to stay if you want that extra breath. Good. Okay, so as you close your right hand down, one more time, come to the ball of your back foot and twist open. Just notice if there's any difference. There might be, there might not be. And then exhale, closing your hand down. Heart forward as you step to plank. Down or facing the full side. Full round of breath. Open up, exhale, always an option. When you're ready, right leg will rise. Exhale, rocking forward, knees to chest, soft lift, step. Twist open to the right side. Inner thighs hugging, even hug your outer right hip in towards your midline. Now meet the hug, meet the squeeze of this twist with an expansion of your breath. A soft muscle of your breath. And then exhale, closing your arms down either hand outside of your ankle or forearm to your thigh. Spit back, heel down, and turn open. Parj Vasanasana. Yeah. Good. Breathe into your spacious belly. One more breath here. Exhale, close your arm down. Returning into the twist, so come to ball of back foot. Hug in towards midline as you twist open. Breathe into it. And then exhale, close your arm down. Stepping to the plank, this time we'll take the vinyasa. So maybe knees come down, maybe they stay lifted. Chatter up. Urdhva Mukha, roll your outer arms back. And then exhale. Oh. Full inhale, maybe an open mouth. Exhale, extra release. Pressing the heat to the top in, out. It could be toxins that we've gotten from food, from products, from environment. It is also emotional toxin, mental toxin which I'm sure many of us have all been exposed to in the last three months. Good. Inhale, lift high to the toes. Bend your knees a lot. Gaze forward. Slowly walk or step or hop your feet to your hips. Inhale, lengthen your heart long forward. Exhale, deepen your feet. Just take a moment here to hang out. Maybe widen your feet um, wider than your hips. You can always hang on to opposite elbow again, or you might like to turn your fingers towards the back wall and stretch the top of your wrist. Just kind of make this yours. Movement, no movement. What do you need right now? Okay, and then lengthening heart forward. Heel toe your feet back to hips distance. Toes pointing forward. And then start to sit your hips way back, way coming in towards as if you were moving into chair pose. So it's like chair pose prep. So bend your knees, sit your hips back, fan your toes, shift your weight into your heels. 
Then peel your belly off with your thighs and come hands up with the top of them. We have a really strong, stable base there. Okay, so now, as your legs are like in this like supportive contraction right now, rather than like resisting the power that is available there, soften into it. So soften literally your brain in your skull. Soften your cheeks, soften your gaze. Then breath, spacious breath. Thighs, your feet. Beautiful. Inhale, rising up. Lift, lift, lift more. Maybe you go up and back to swing it. For the next one, one to your heart's mystery. Full breath in. Open your mouth. Twice more. Press heat out. Inhale. Feel that hug of the belly. Yes. Good. And then just smooth breath in and out of your nose. Releasing your arms down, circling your arms out. Bend your elbows to shoulder height. <coughs> Palms facing the Good. Inhale here. Broaden your collarbones more. Send your tailbone down towards your heels. And then exhale. Press palms, forearms, elbows together in front of your chest. Squeeze. Get your elbows to press down. Squeeze. Squeeze. Beautiful. Then inhale. Open. Feel your front ribs fan. Your collarbones fan. And then exhale. Hug. Squeeze. 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 Inhale. Open. Exhale. Inhale. Chair pose as you press arms together. Root down, rise up. Maybe you coil your top chest a little bit back. And then exhale, hips back. Press. In, expand, open. Exhale, travel in deep. Three more. Follow the rhythm of your breath, finding the true depth of your exhale and not lifting, expanding until you find that true depth. Last one. And inhale, open. This time, open your arms all the way up by your sides and bow. Inhale, heart forward. You'll tell your feet wider than hips. Sweet arms around behind you, interlace behind your back. Roll shoulder, head open, heart in. And then exhale, bow. Keep breathing, shoulders away from your ears, lifting. And releasing your arms down. Down to shins or floor as you lengthen heart forward, heel toe feet, hips distance. Bend your knees, plant your hands, step your right leg straight back. Uh, twisting open to the left side. Inner thighs hug, outer hip hug in. Exhale, closing down. Parjva Kanasana, back heel down, forearm to thigh or hand outside of your ankles. Return. Feel your outer left hip kind of wrapping underneath you and towards the back of the mat. Okay, now rising up from here, reverse warrior. Stay grounded in your front heel as you lengthen up and back. Straightening your front leg. Reach from big toe to fingertips. Send an exhale, hinge forward through Trikonasana. Keep lengthening out, power through your feet and your thighs. Hand down, top line. Good. Have that same energetic, like, breathing up through your feet, your thighs. Propel that out through your side ribs, your sternum, through the forward. Beautiful. Then, gaze down, bend to your front knee, turn your chest down, right hand under your shoulder. One more time, cap it off with this hug, twist open. 
On your next exhale, close your hands down. Step back to plank. Your choice if you take a vinyasa, if you want that kind of extra clearing and connecting with the rhythm of breath. Otherwise, you can press right back to downward dog. Full inhale, perhaps an open mouth exhale. Right leg rises. Exhale, shoulders over, wrists, knee to chest. Step through. Inhale, twist open to the right. Exhale, close down. Parshvakanasana, turn open to the left, back heel down. Forearm to thigh or hand outside of foot, turn open to the left. Reverse warrior, rising up. Reach up towards the sky and then side bend. Straightening your front leg, reverse triangle. And then exhale, hinge, come all the way through, treat the muscle. Bottom hand down, top ribs, top shoulder, micro twist turning open. Breathe up through feet, through thighs, through heart. Good, gaze down. Breathe, bend into your knee. Left hand under your shoulder, ball of back foot, twist open. Again, it's like you're sealing all of that with another squeeze. And then release, hands down. Step back to plank pose. Chaturanga Vinyasa or press back downward dog. You might even take child's pose and just reconnect with breath. And then make this next inhale like you are sliding your hands over your body and just like, good job, body. Thank you for the work you're doing right now. We're doing it together. Beautiful. Inhale, left leg rises when you're ready. Exhale, rock forward, knee to chest. Step through between your hands. Step both feet to the top of your mat. Lengthening heart, long forward. Exhale, folding over your legs. Chair pose, sitting your hips back. Turn your palms forward, bend elbows to shoulder height. Inhale here. Exhale, cross right arm over left. Right arm over left. Right eagle arms. You can also be in a hug wrap if that works better for your neck and shoulders. Send more weight into your heels, into your hips, reaching back. Your inner thighs, even if they're not right next to each other, they're still coming in towards one another. Beautiful. Okay, next inhale, move down, lift up, staying in eagle arms. Press your forearms up to the sky, teeny micro back bend, and then exhale, sitting your hips back. Inhale, stay in chair, unwind your arms. Exhale, left arm over leg. Find eagle. Spread toes. Beautiful. Inhale, root to rise. Little micro back bends and tailbone towards your heel. And then exhale, sit back. Inhale, unwind. Circle out, forward, and fold over your legs. Heart forward. Step back to plank. Your choice if you take a vinyasa or press right back, downward. Inhale, right leg will rise. Exhale, shoulders over wrists, knee to chest. Step three. This time, crescent pose. Heart breathes forward. Stay on the ball of your back heel. Rise. Okay, so have that hugging of inner thighs together. Okay, breathing all the way up. Feel your back ribs lifting off of your ribs. Or, uh, back ribs lifting off of your ribs. Good. Now turn your palms forward. Bend your elbow, shoulder head. Cross left arm over right. Left arm over right. Good, and then inhale, start to float your arms straight up through the sky. Exhale, elbows towards your chest. Do that twice, inhale, lift. Little back bend. Exhale, elbows to chest. 
Exhale, elbows to chest. Now pitch your chest forward over your Good. Slowly unwind your arms, sweeping open towards your teeth. Press off with your back leg and on your right leg. Don't worry about the height of your back leg, even if your children is barely hovering off the ground. Really root through your standing leg a lot. Bring heart forward. Good. Now bend standing leg. Touch back, toes down. Sweep. Arms forward. Find the ground. Good, inhale, heart forward. Straighten your front leg. Now, you if you don't have cross, you can always bring your back knee down to support this. Breathe through your, the back of your thigh. There's, there's just all of that healthy contraction through the front of your thigh. And so now we're gonna breathe an expansion through the back. Good, one more breath here. Slowly re-bend into your front knee. Spin your back heel down. And then quarter turn to the left side, bringing your front toes with you. Wide leg forward, full of Padottanasana. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, drop into the fold. Slide your hands back. Total release of your head. Okay. Inhale, heart forward. Bend your knees, turn towards the front of your mat once again. Step back to plank. Your choice to take vinyasa, maybe child pose even, or downward pose. Deep inhale. Okay. Left leg rises. Exhale, rocking forward, gently stepping your foot through between your hands. Crescent pose, find that hug of your thighs. Palms turn forward, bend your elbows, shoulder hands. Inhale, coil your heart open a little more. And then exhale, close. Right arm over left. Evil arms. Inhale, floating straight up. Exhale, elbows to chest. Twice. Micro Exhale. As you exhale this time, hinge forward, belly chest over back. Unwind your arms out to a T, press off, fly. One more breath. Good. Bend standing leg, touch back, toes down, press it forward, one more breath. Exhale, hands, framing your front foot. Maybe back knee set down to support as you straighten your front leg and fold. Feeling the expansion in each new breath. Good. Rocking forward again, bending into front knee. Step back to clean. Your choice, vinyasa, rest, child pose, or downward dog. Take a few clearing exhales, perhaps through the mouth, and the pressing heat that lives at the bottom of an exhale. Out. Okay, here we go. Right leg rises. Exhale, stepping through between your hands. Crescent pose, rise up. Palms turn forward, bend up over the shoulder. Inhale, lift your heart. Cross the left arm over. Inhale, lifting arms, chest up and back. Exhale, pitch forward over your head. Okay, 
keep your arms in eagle. Little bend of back knee, press off. Now keep your standing leg bent. Pull your back knee into your chest and cross your thigh over. Good, hug your thighs together. Lift through your heart. Beautiful, very Okay, so breathe into the deep contraction here. So even find this traveling in, in, in on your exhale. And then on your next inhale, open, expand, uncross your legs, your arms open, extend left leg back. Full breath, crescent pose, step back. Really lovely, inhale, lift your heart, your arms, exhale, hands raise. Good, heart forward, straight in your front leg. Breathe long. Good. Inhale, heart forward. Breathe, bend into your front knee. Before you leave, twist open to the right side. Hug outer right hip in towards midline. Exhale, close this. Step back to plank. Your choice. Kneading in downward dog when you're ready. Left leg, right leg. Exhale, second. Crescent pose, rising. Opening, palms, elbows out. Right arm over left. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, pitch forward. Now press off, just pull your right knee into your chest. Cross your thigh over, eagle pose. So even if you like your side waist, your side ribs are hugging in, wrapping in towards your belly, your solar plexus. Okay, another breath here, hugging in, 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 in on the exhale, and then inhale, expand, unwind, open, extend your right leg back. One more breath here, lovely, set back, toes down, lift your chest. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, straighten your front leg. You breathe in the power, the strength of all of that contracting, letting it expand, oh, dissipate throughout your whole body. In that way, being integrated, that power, that strength being integrated into a fiber of being. Breathe in into your front knee, and then twist open to the left side. Beautiful, closing your arm down. Set to plank. Vinyasa. Child pose, downward dog. What's the medicine for you in this moment? Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, child pose. Drop to your knees, press your hips back. Really give your head to the ground. Yeah, with these next few exhales, just feel like any lingering remnants of stress, tension, worry, any of that, just kind of feel like wicking off of your body almost. And inhale slowly, rising up, arms and knees. Inhale, cow spine, heart forward. Exhale, round monkey cat. In, heart forward. 
Exhale. Inhale, heart forward. Swing ribs over to the right. And then round up through center if you crack. Go over to the left. And then drop your belly down. Cow. Big circles. Massaging all of the tissues that connect your ribs to your spine, to your spine to the back of your pelvis. The tissues between each of your ribs are getting a massage. Go in the opposite direction. Soft lips. Beautiful. Then finding hands, knees, nice and stable. You can sweep your right arm open to the side. Really open the front of your shoulder, the front of your ribs. And then exhale, spread your left arm underneath your right. Coming down onto the side of your shoulder, the side of your ear. Breathe into your back ribs a lot. Inhale, rising back up. Reach your right arm to the sky once more. Expand, open. Exhale, hands to the mat. Left arm, left shoulder, left ribs, open. Another breath in. Exhale, spread. Good. Inhale, rising all the way back up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Good. Inhale, cow spine. Exhale, round cat. Press your hips back. And then go in circles as you come over to the side. Rock all the way forward. Your shoulders come over your fingers. And then press your body over to the left and press heels back or hips back over your heels. So big circles come over your wrists and then press all the way back over your heels. One more in this direction. And then go in the opposite direction. Lovely. Pressing your hips back, walk your hands towards your knees. You can swing your shins out from underneath you. And come to it. Having your right shin in front of your left. Try to cross at mid-shin and flex your feet. Okay. Fingertips out towards the sides of your body, almost using them like a kickstand to lift taller through your side ribs, but then send your tailbone rooting into the ground. And turn your palms up, sweeping your arms up. Exhale, twist open to the right. Right hand behind you, left hand to your knee. Inhale, sit taller. Exhale, press open. Good. Inhale back to center. Exhale, pitch forward. Hands release to the ground. Inhale, sternum breathing long. Exhale, fold all the way in. Three full breaths here. Walking hands back in towards your body. Recross with your left shin in front. Inhale, arms reach. Twisting to the left. Good. Grow taller through spine. Exhale, press open. Inhale, lift, center. Exhale, heart reaches way out, and then hands find the ground. Inhale, get longer. 
Bow in. Three breaths. Lengthening your heart forward as you walk your hands back in towards your body. Now, take your left leg, sweep it all the way around behind you. So you're coming into the pigeon now on your right side. So you can kind of pull your heel towards your body any amount, or you can also move your shin parallel towards the edge of your mat any amount. So anywhere in between that. Okay. Good. So kind of use those tent. Hands again to lift you, those kickstand hands. Send your tailbone down towards the ground. Good, full breath. And then slowly walking your hands out in front of you. Might lower to the forearms. You might lower all the way out. You can also stack your fists here if you don't have a block to rest your head on. You rest your head like that. Walking back up onto your hands. Okay, so now kind of sit onto your right hip and pull your heel towards your pelvis so even a little bit more. Your knee actually starts to point more forward than before. And then you can tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, kind of walk your back knee back just like a few inches. Okay, and then lifting through your chest. Maybe this is deep enough, you're already feeling a nice stretch from your hip to your knee. Or you bend your back knee, pulling your heel towards your butt. Or you sweep your arm around and grab a hold of your ankle, either outside of your ankle or inside of as a deeper shoulder stretch. And then keep drawing your heart forward and then you can start to pull your heel in towards your butt if you have your hand on your um, butt. Stay wherever you need to stay along this journey. You might even bring your elbow to wrap around your foot. And breathe through the front of your thigh. One more breath. Very gently releasing your back leg. To sweep your left leg around and set up for the other side. Right leg goes behind you. Starting with your knee, open out towards the side a little bit more. Getting that lift. And then when you are ready, coming down on your forearms perhaps. Getting any sort of support you might have done on the other side. Just being with the unraveling. Being with the evolution that occurs with each breath. Sensing your physical body melting. Leaning in to the letting go.
slowly rising onto your hands. Now pulling your heel towards your pelvis a little more, your knee starts to point more forward. Find that extra little bit of length as you tuck back toes and walk your back knee back just a teeny bit. Okay, and then maybe you're just staying here on fingertips and lift. That's option one. Option two is to bend your back and heel towards your bottom. Option three is to sweep your left arm around, catching a hold of your foot or ankle. If you do take that hold, start to pull your heel towards your bottom. Keep sending that like tip of the flame, the smoke of that breath, rising up into your heart, to your throat, your eyes, your crown. Final breath here. And slowly releasing your back leg. Sweeping that leg all the way around. Step your foot. Right foot steps out of the side of your left knee. So now if both sit bones do not ground here, you can always extend your bottom leg out. Otherwise, arms sweeping, you inhale. Exhale, twist open, hooking your elbow outside. So you can actually feel the like satisfaction that your body has of going from these two pullers of being expanded and then being hugged back in and then being expanded and hugged back in. Slowly unwind back center. And then start to walk your feet in opposite directions towards either side of the room, coming towards me on top of me. Of course, in different bodies, it can look very different. And uh, what helps with that actually is to lift your hips onto a prop, like a blanket or something. Okay, make sure to flex your feet to protect your knees. And then you can just stay like this if you'd like, with fingertips supporting and just finding the length of your spine. Otherwise, you'll sweep your arms all the way out of them. Bend your left elbow. Hand onto your left elbow. Kind of help to work your left hand down towards your mid back. It's really easy for your front ribs to now start to pop. So hug them, settle them back in towards your spine. And then take your right arm all the way around, reaching up towards your fingers. Now you can either just be reaching with both of your hands kind of pressing against your spine, or you might actually be able to touch or press fingertips together. Good, and then take your gaze directly forward as much as you can find, even if eyes are closed. Send your breath into your spine, into your arms, your hands, wherever they're connected to your body. Okay. You can either stay here or on your next inhale, lengthen. On your next exhale, begin to pull forward. So this can be pretty intense in the hips, and you just listen to your body. Inhaling to rise. Very gently unwinding your arms. Nice and slow. Release your arms down. Just give your body a moment. And then you can kind of lean back a little bit. Uncross your legs. Open them and give them just a little shake. Shake your thighs, shake your knees, shake your feet. Good. Okay, now this time your left foot crosses outside of your right uh, knee. Your right heel goes by your right knee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fingertips out towards the side. Lifting through your heart. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, twist. Open. 
hooking elbow. You can also wrap elbow around in front. It's a little left and center. You can deepen your twist just a little bit with your next exhale. Good. And then slowly unwind back center. Walking your feet in opposite directions, coming towards going the class in a way. Whatever that looks like for you. Fingertips lengthening. Again, option to stage right. Other ones, arm reach. Right elbow bends. Using your left hand on your right elbow to help and hug your bicep right by your ear. Hand towards between your shoulder blades. And then your left hand sweeps around. Good. Keep breathing down through your sit bones. Keep breathing your knees down towards the ground. Even if eyes are closed, lift feet to center. Send your breath to your spine, to your arms, back of your head. Either staying here or lifting and then holding for Inhale, rise. Arms very slowly unwind. Releasing arms down. Pause. Leaning back. And cross your legs, bring the soles of your feet. Butter. Butter. Inhale, arms lengthen. Pitching your chest forward, breathe your sit bones behind you, and then hands down. Inhale, forward. Drop. Heart forward. You can walk your hands towards your body. Hugging your knees in. Wrapping your arms around your knees. Lift through your heart. And exhale around. Hug. Melt. Sitting tall, releasing your arms, scoot yourself forward if you need to, so that you have room to lie down. <laughs> Coming all the way down onto your back, start with windshield wipers, going side to side, massaging your hips, your pelvis, the ground. Pausing center. Feet are hip distance apart. Lift hips, lower hips, just resetting pelvis. Draw your right knee into your chest. Left knee into your chest. Open your knees wide. Flex your feet, lift heels above your knees. And then either holding your calves or your feet for full happy baby. As you breathe to your inner thigh, allow the back of your pelvis to drop heavy into the ground. 
you're feeling that desire to straighten and get one last little stretch to the back of your legs, one at a time or both at a time, or not at all. Final breath wherever you choose to take it. Relaxing your heels towards your bottom, hands to your outer knees, close. And setting one foot down onto the mat. Then the up. Lifting hips and lowering. Extending one leg and then the other. Arms by your side, palms to the sky. Shavasana. Final rest. Final pose that begins the process of integration. Wherever there is an end, there is also a beginning. Wherever there is death, there is also a burden. As you arrive here at the end of your asana practice, may it only be the beginning. integrating it's into your life, your relationships, your passions,
Please be relaxed. Feeling the hips carry like a current to your fingers, to your toes. <clears throat> and you find little movements. <clears throat> any bit of movement, any stretching. Actually bending your knees and rolling to your right side to rest for three to five breaths. Staying dropped, staying heavy. Begin to rise. Maybe your eyes even stay closed as you find your seat. Now turn your palms up. Sharing your energy with the space around you while also receiving the energy of the space around you. You might spring thumb and index fingers gently touch. Breathing from your deep belly up into your heart. Breathe down through your arms. Let that circulate through your fingers. Back up through your arms to your heart your belly. Lips soft. Third eye soft. Sensing is circulating a breath the light through your body. Deep breath in. Open mouth, soft release. Slowly gathering your hands together in front of your heart. Inhale, lifting through your heart. Bowing all the way forward and down. Bowing in deep gratitude, deep honor for this body, for this practice, for this space, practice in together. Space inside for you to practice anytime you choose to go in. 
rising up, thumbs touch their The spirit in me sees, honors, and loves the spirit in you. Namaste. Thank you for being here with me today. That's super special. Mm -hmm. Have a beautiful weekend. Thank you. Thanks. My name's Shelly. Shelly. Yeah, you've been in my class before. You're kidding. Oh, amazing. You look so familiar. Yeah. Oh, amazing. So glad.